Hello everyone, welcome back to the 50 part tutorial. I have one one thing to say before we start. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. It's more than the smoking thing that I have. Um, the, it's the season changes here. And it's getting cold at the last two weeks. And raining. Um, well, basically, it's warm, but it's not cold. And I don't know, it's like a mixture of everything together. So, uh, I'm not feeling that perfect but anyway I'm good enough to continue and create tutorials now I did pause for the last couple of days I don't know I just took a little bit break I think I already announced this at the 48 part but just be aware that it's not like easy to, <laughs> to do these uh, tutorials uh, sometimes I'm repeating them and creating them all over um, after new conclusions and stuff like that so um, just try and be patient with this and apologize if things aren't going the way you want, okay? Uh, but I'm trying to do my best to continue this with adding a lot more objects. So, um, I hope that is acceptable and makes sense, okay? So, right now what I want to do is I want to connect this face here and this one. Now, what I had in mind in at first is to create... To take this edge here, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, therefore I'm maintaining everything as quads and I can connect these two in some sort of way. But it's not really going my way that way because I will need to tweak those edges here a little bit different. So I'm okay with you doing this and trying to find a way on how to connect them by really grabbing like this vertex here, aligning it like so, to make the path correct, and you can even do the same again by creating here another line, so you can shift right click, multi cut here, cut here, and now you will have two triangles here, but that's not bad because you can always grab this edge and get rid of this. Now, right now we have quads here, and that's okay, and everything still maintain your S quad, so if you press 3, it will look somewhat decent. Um, not perfect, of course, you can still navigate this edge here to a little bit different shape or, you know, um, position just to make it the flow of your edges look a little bit better. But I have, I I'm gonna continue with this one, with this way, but I will show you maybe another way or two ways on how to do this maybe without getting into too much trouble. Uh, so, if we've done this already here, let's go and do the same here, just so we won't uh, lose it, okay? We need to stay uh, symmetrical in our uh, way we are modeling, so I'm making sure that I do uh, repeat the same stages, uh, steps that I took here uh, over there. Okay, whoopsie, let's press F8, let's take the cut tool, well, in order to take the cut tool I need to be in edge mode and selection tool, okay, so let's click here, let's click here, right click and let's grab this edge and get rid of this. Now, because this is that way, maybe you would like to, uh, to go here and do basically the same thing, just to connect these. Now, I will say that though, if I'm gonna press 3 here, it looks smooth and nice, right? But we still have the same thing going on there, because we added this extra edge. So, pay attention to whatever loops your geometry is taking. Uh, by the way, I would probably pose here and there, I'm, I don't know, I have like sneezing attack. I'm sneezing every few minutes. Um, anyway, so with that uh, done, maybe I will actually will go and grab this and do the same. Edge ring utilities. Uh, wait a second. You have no idea wh how it's like. Yeah, you do. I know you do. It feels good to sneeze, but... I have a problem with sneezing. I'm not sure you are the I'm the only one that has this problem, but I will explain. Whenever I'm sneezing, uh, sometimes my muscles, uh, especially at my arms or my back, are 
just getting uh, stuck or something. It feels like really burning or something for a couple of minutes and then it's released. Um, the pain just go away, but it's it's a pain. It's not fun, and I don't know. Um, it's not happening every time, but it's making its way almost every time. Anyway, we've done the same here, so we need to treat it, this area the same. Now we are not treating it the same because we treat there the same. We're treating it the same because we still won't maintain quads. Okay, so I'm not doing this because of because of uh i done this there but because the logic says that i need to do this here or unless i don't and i wouldn't do that anyway i'm pressing three and one more thing to say is i changed the geometry by adding more edges here if i would do this for any sec circular shape and the flow the flow of this uh smoothness here will change you can already see the change here, by the way. So be aware of that. And it's not like bad. It doesn't look bad. But just be aware that adding edges, like if I have eight edges uh, to create a circle, like I have for this pipe, right now I have more than eight edges. I have like 10 edges. And the edges are separated not evenly. You see, these are more crowded here. These are not. Crowded. So this is affecting the way your uh, model will look. Okay, just be aware of that. Um, okay, so we've done this, and what we want to do now is we want to get these to be connected. So I'm going to delete them. Basically, I need this uh, this face and that face to be connected. So what I will do is I'm going to grab this one and that one, and I will extrude them first. To this point where they will be able to connect that and then I will create another extrusion and I will bring them to meet each other here so let's make this ready I'm gonna take this edge so this one will be at the center somewhat here okay and this will uh, be able will be able to connect to that area now we have triangle if you haven't noticed so whenever I will patch this entire thing this edge will cross to this area okay you will see this guys um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this now pay attention this is one of the most uh, important things that I haven't said and it's really really important that you will acknowledge this I'm gonna extrude them but sometimes we are forgetting that we are extruding with some numbers of um, you know divisions so you're gonna pull you're gonna change to scale tool and you wouldn't notice that there are 36 copies of this face here, okay? This is really, really crucial, and this is why things messed up, and this is why I'm messing up too much whenever I'm modeling. Now, because of that, basically, because I changed to scale tool, and, scale tool and I used the scale tool in order to do this, you can't really tell what's happening. Now, if I go here now, okay? You know, Maya create this face and this face, but it creates it also here. So these, I'm always aware of them, and I will go and delete them. But pay attention to what's going on here. Now, we have this. I, I'm going to go very closer to it. This thing here shouldn't be. You see, this thing that are now is in green, it shouldn't be here. The reason it's here is because I extruded with 36 steps, but I didn't knew this, okay? So, you want to make sure you're not doing this. And don't try to avoid this. Don't go and delete it because it's easy. It, it won't get easy later on. It just messed up a little bit more than what you think. So, you're going to undo that. You're going to unextrude this. Pay attention to here. It will say undo poly extrude. Now I'm happy because I know the extrusion haven't happened yet. And I will go and change the extrusion to... Yes, one division. Okay, click here, click apply, close. Okay, close, and click. then you can switch here. Now, let's test it. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab this one, I'm going to grab this one and delete them. You can see, now we don't have this. Okay, so I hope that was making sense. And 
from now on you will know better what really happened in your model because I'm using Maya for quite a long time still yet never figure out why those things are happening so just be aware of that we're gonna take uh, I, I put them here you see ne next here because I want to patch them so I'm gonna take the mesh tool target weld tool I'm gonna click here and attach it here and I'm gonna do the same oopsie over here see now it's easy for me to go and take this one and that one I'm gonna sneeze it right away so let me bridge this and I, I will try to bridge this okay it's bridged if it doesn't bridge extrude and use the scale tool to bring them next to each other and delete the faces and attach them with the, that thing the target well tool but right now you see we have a problem there so what I will do is I'm gonna grab this at shift right click delete it and this will basically stretch back there so it's not really connected there so you need to check this you're gonna grab this edge and you're gonna move this and you can see it's connected um, I'm saying this almost every tutorial that I'm making let's say that we do have edge here or vertex that are not connected the only way to figure out how it's going if it's connected or not it simply click once just one click on one of those vertices if there are two there it will select only one of them and then if you move it means if it's opened it means that they are not connected but if it, it is moving that means that they are connected this is how I'm checking and this is the best way to check this unless you can use uh, smooth preview and just check this see so it's connected so we connected this we can grab this it's already connected by default because we deleted that uh, edge and we can create here this edge uh, here now why is that why, what's wrong here why it's not continuing over here so as you can understand there is a problem I'm gonna grab this adding utilities to adding and split it will create a split exactly where that is but the reason was because this one is not connected you see now I don't know why it didn't connect this but we will need to do this so I'm gonna shift right click delete that edge that I just added there and I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna grab this edge now double click on it it will do it will loop select it and if I will go and do fill hole it will basically connect those two here it happens automatically so I'm gonna delete this one and now I will try to do the same it still doesn't work for some reason I have no idea why let me check those let me check almost anything here that I can oh it's not it's not really connected <laughs> that's nice nice to know great so let's get rid of this delete this edge grab this one second I g I got back guys I'm, I'm sneezing like I don't know like a huge dinosaur anyway I'm gonna grab this delete it right click choose edge double click double click on this edge add mesh another sneezing is going to happen sorry so let's grab this one add ring until this to add ring and split now the entire split occurred and you can see now that using this vertex of that edge we have quad quad here and we have quad here now if you want to make this look a little bit better you can grab this double click on it okay try and double click on it it won't get through here so go ahead and grab those and then continue double click on this it will loop go all the way here to this one and then we can move this to the center and it will look beautiful okay that way it sets nice and we've done a clean work which look good let's see here nice okay we're gonna do the same here guys right click choose face let's grab these faces 
let's delete them and I will let's talk now and simply continue with this um, well extrude <clears throat> switch the scale tool a little bit that way just a little bit that way and that's nice I will go down beneath here get rid of these two faces so let's grab this face and that face and press delete I'm gonna take the target 12 tool and let's patch these see these I can't really see them but I will try yeah this is connecting these and this is connecting these and those <clears throat> okay I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna remove this shift right click delete edge nice I'm gonna grab this face and that face let's try and bridge them okay it's not connecting you see it's not connected here there are two edges and it's not connected maybe it's not connected here as well I don't know sometimes it's grabbing them earlier it didn't yeah you see I pushed it a little bit more far and I can see that it's not really connected so maybe uh, I will bring it here I don't know maybe that way I'm gonna do something like so I'm gonna grab these sorry these vertices these vertices no I'll simply go and delete this face and that face delete them double click on that edge mesh fill hole double click on that edge mesh fill hole grab this you know what before that before I'm splitting this I'm gonna double click on this double click on that basically need to come here bring these select them and move these into position at the center that way it's nice I'm gonna grab this add ring utilities to add ring and split now for the fun part I'm gonna go choose vertices I'm gonna come to this grab these shift grab these you wanna go bring them like so okay just a little bit down and at the same time move them a little bit out like so okay just like so press 3 here you go you will have this okay it's not perfect but it's nice it looks good and just add those connection between them which we can be satisfied with now you can do the same there okay it will require from you just the same actions to do and uh, basically the same cleanup okay so you will have to go and grab this one straighten it up press F8 shift right click let's see multi cut tool click here click there right click choose face let's grab these two faces and delete them these I'm already deleting them because I know that I will need to delete them later so why not let's just get rid of those that we don't need uh, well maybe these not okay and then I will do this I'm gonna do this extrude them once making sure it's one here division oh by the way sorry guys I've done something wrong before that you do wanna uh, set scale for those you know like this was edge that helps us but these edges are here so maybe let's create here more or maybe just grab these and use them into this advantage okay um, I knew from beforehand that I'm gonna do something like that so this is why I kept them there um, if you will go and watch this you will see that I'm saying this or saying something that about this so just be aware that this was in plane even though it's not hard to get 
uh, well, something I've done here wrong. I don't know why this is folded up down so much there. What I've done here to move this one? Oh, I didn't move this as like it should have done. I will need to double click here, change to component and move this down. All right, sorry. It's still not perfect, but it's doing its way there. I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. Trying to avoid later more problems with this. Let's do this. Move cut. Click here, click here. Click here, click here. Let's remove these bases. Delete them. I deleted face here. I'm gonna undo that. Unselect this and delete them and <coughs> sorry um, let's grab these two first extrude them switch to scale tool bring them just about like so but I'm gonna bring them up a little bit just to make that thing there and I'm gonna do the same here extrude these two switch to scale tool pull them out a little bit move them up a little bit I'm gonna enter in here, grab that face, grab that face, that one, and that one, and delete. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry. Uh, anyway, target weld this one here, this one here. This one here, this one here, like so. I um, I wanna have a stupid statement right now. Um, lately, I bought my uh, one of my little brothers a uh, PS4, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I only had PS1 whenever I was young, and I don't like consoles too much. I loved them when I was younger, but because I'm playing mostly uh, FPS games, uh, it's hard for me to use the controllers. Anyway, this is why I'm not playing or bought myself uh, one uh, since I bought my first Sony PlayStation 1. So. I asked my brother what he wants me to get him because it was a uh, oh I've done them both together so let's do them one by one I have to extrude them okay so I bought him that Sony PlayStation and basically I got the time and see how many time I pose this is exactly when I had to sneeze or thought I'm gonna sneeze he don't have any friends to play with he's only 12 years uh, or 30 year 13 year old and doesn't know many people who play PlayStation and because this is his own first console um, <clears throat> it's just that uh, I can't really I don't know why I shouldn't should it just, instead of extruding and bridge it yeah that's more like so I'm looking for someone to, that can I don't know someone at the same age that would like to play with him he, does, he knows just a little bit English but he understand, he can't really talk too much because his vocabulary is like uh, not that you know good but rich but he understands anyway he's looking for friend to play with because <coughs> it's kinda suck if you ever bought your uh, yourself a PS4 you probably know you need to pay in order to play in the network you need to have a this uh, 
PlayStation 4 um, account plus says uh, PlayStation 4 plus account <coughs> and I wasn't aware of this whenever I bought it I was pretty much got me by surprise and I said oh my god I spent too much money just to get this and games and now I need to pay extra $49 just to play on the net now sorry I need to do the bridge here anyway uh, it sucks I don't know I never thought that they are too greedy to get into this point where they are asking also for uh, subscription uh, sort of um, you know uh, well just you got me right anyway um, I'm gonna fill those holes and now I'm gonna fix here this area <coughs> um, multi cut tool so I'm looking for friends for my little brother to have um, so he will have someone to play with and I hope someone of you some of you have little kids who do play Minecraft he will have someone to play with because it's boring and I'm trying to I don't know I was trying to uh, send a friend request to someone over the Minecraft servers um, trust me I, I have no idea I played Minecraft like one week in my life and it was not late ago I mean not long ago and I never knew really what this is all about and how you work this game and I liked it but I don't know I don't I, I don't have much time for this I'm, I, I do play a lot but trust me playing Minecraft is too demanding than most of the oh I've done something wrong so it's too demanding for most of my games that I like to play and um, you're, you've seen almost any, you know, um, YouTube videos about Minecraft, and he knows things, he knew things in theory, which he never really had a chance to explore, uh, but then I got him, like, uh, I don't know, six months ago, I got him the game, or, no, more, more, more like one year ago, I got him the PC game version, and then... Now he's, uh, I, I upgraded the, you know, to Windows 10, so you have the Xbox version, basically. And for the PS4, is a problem, because he, he doesn't have friends. And I got him a new PlayStation 4, and he doesn't do anything with it. Because it just sucks. I don't know, it sucks. So, I got him GTA now. Tomorrow I will bring this to him. Uh, sorry, in two days, but... Um... <coughs> This is where it stands. I'm looking for friends or, I don't know, some people at his age who will have him or me. Basically, it will be me because he doesn't really know how to manage friends there. And to have friends with him and play Minecraft together while they can. I don't know, uh, you know, hours and stuff like this. We are living in different zones. So, anyway, try your best luck. Search for David. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. My name is go is going like this. Um, David, and you have this line here, and Horol. Okay, basically it's pronounced Ho Horol, and people always say Horol. <coughs> it sounds bad. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm, I'm like half dead here. So we've done with this. It looks nice, not too bad, something we can work on a little bit more if we have time for it, but at the overall, uh, I expect from you to stay satisfied with what you have. I'm gonna add one edge here, I'm gonna test this, I'm gonna bevel this one, thank god I can, um, you know, uh, bevel it, so it's already a good starting point, I'm gonna add 100 point well 1.100 or maybe more let's try no no let's keep it that way that's good 
<coughs> I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm gonna grab this one, I'm gonna grab this one. No, just change the fraction to one one point one hundred. I don't want them to be very stick to these edges because it will be sharp edge. Now you got me, wrong, right? So it's like that. Let's press on the background and get rid of the wireframe on shaded, sorry. I apply the x-ray. So you can see how it looks now. Okay, and I think that looks fairly nice, so don't be that picky, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop this tutorial, I'm gonna clean myself up, I don't know, my entire nose is like floating with, uh, floating with, you know, so, yeah. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next part, and we will start by creating this thing here, okay? So, see you!